Citizens was just robbed with a handgun by an unknown male. Mail fled. We're going to set up containment and try and find this guy. A, un a unit's on scene attempting to get a better description as of right now. We've got a canine en route from the city of Tacoma. Hopefully, we've got the suspect pinned in here fairly close to where we're at. We've got a bunch of units on scene. We're going to set up containment. And then, when the canine gets here, we'll possibly run with the dog. You want to jog with us also, Russ? Yeah, I can. Okay. Who's the guy that was the victim? It's it's his boss's truck. They uh, he broke into the back of it, took some panels out there, and some nail guns out of there. Nail guns. Nail guns. I, I, I see. I need to see you because I don't know. They okay, you're not, the you're not quite and sure. And, and you said he had a gun. You cut it off. He got it in the hand. He, he saw the gun in his hand. So. Okay. Yeah. What kind what of color? gun was it? Yeah. What color was it? Uh, I see the black one with black the like light. this. Or well, something like that. Like that? I'm not okay. sure. I'm not sure. 363, Connie. 363. I'm going to stay on Metro. We're going to start a canine track soon. I'll keep you posted. Could you go back inside, please? Russ, holding that gunpoint, I'm gonna cross over. I'm gonna cross over. Going around you, bypassing, bypassing, bypassing. Got Gotta open, open fence right here, open fence, open fence, I'm going in. Go ahead, I got him, I got him. That a boy, watch that guy. You got taser or handgun? Wake up! Wake up, show me your hands! Roll over! Give me your other hand, dude. Give me your other hand. Hold me back a little bit. Here. Hold on. You're gonna get tased, dude. Yeah. Roll over. Roll over. Tase him again. Got him. Let's go. over. Go for it. I need help. Get his feet. Okay, watch your legs. Watch your legs. Get him, boy. Pull him out of there. He doesn't know that. X. Oh, hi. I just saw oh, you oh. Shut up. Stop moving around. Lay out flat. Oh. Just... Are you alone? Yeah. So yeah. far, we know. We're yeah. over. Where's the other guy? Oh. Lay flat. Where's the other guy? Where's the other guy? Check his other side, Russ. Oh. Check his no. other side. Where's the other guy? <laughs> what did I do wrong? All right. Oh, I'm good. All right. Put your feet up. Get up. Get up. Hey. Get up. Hold hey. the hey. 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 When we're contacting you, we tell us, you, we tell you to show us your hands. Then you show us your hands. All right. When we tell you to show us your hands, that's what you need to do. Or you want to fight us? This is what happens. You understand me? I'm not fighting nobody here, guy. Oh, no, not now. Well, we took off from the. The initial track point, the dog pretty much had a direct lay on where the witnesses saw him run to. The dog went right up to this guy. He was hiding in a, what looked like a sleeping bag. Wouldn't comply with our commands. I went through the fence, tried to pull the blanket back, and the fight was on. He ended up having to be tased multiple times. 
resisted from the get-go, wouldn't comply with our, our commands, ended up kicking us the whole nine yards. The dog was sent in to help us out because we had two officers struggling to get this guy into custody who wasn't complying. So we had to take it up a notch, and, and uh, the canine officer did a good job putting the dog on when he did because it was full on, a full-on battle there for a couple minutes. We just received information from a witness that the second suspect in this incident is held up in the house here. We're going to gather up a few officers, go over to the house, and make contact. Back John, come out now. Hey, dude. Sit on the sit down. Don't do anything else. Slow and deliberate. Okay, I'm gonna hold this hallway to the right, friend. If you want to come back there, you put your hands on your head. You put your hands on your head and don't move. Do you understand me? Don't move. Okay, when that's clear, Russ, just give me a tap, and I'm gonna go in here. Got a bedroom to the left, bedroom center, bedroom right. Doors closed, all. You underneath the bed, put your hands out now! Go assist him. I'm gonna hold this hallway. Do not move. Do you understand me? Okay, underneath the bed, get your hands out now. Have K9 come around the front door, Russ. Open, put, I sit, you see me there, you need to come out. Uh -huh. Bring the dog around the front door. Come out now. You need to come out. We're gonna tase you. Hold tight. K9 to the front door. He's not complying. You need to put your hands out right now. Put him out, out from underneath the blanket now. No. Okay? You need to come out now. Stand up. Both of you guys get on the ground. There's two small kids with him on the bed. I won't put the dog in there. right now. That's good. Do not move. Come on up. Do as you're told. Lay down straight on the floor, right in front of you. Straight down, right towards me. Just keep going. You got about two seconds before you get tased. On your belly. All the way down. All the way on the belly. Okay, Trent, let's clear the rest of this house. 363 County, he's detained. We're clearing the rest of the house. 330 can just be in route minus the shield. They said it was a positive ID that this is the original guy that they saw. He was with the, the original guy we got the first so, time. So we got both guys. We got the original guy from the canine track, which led to this suspect being in another house, made entry in the house. He was hiding, got him in the custody. Yeah, we got the two bad guys and got the property back, so uh -huh. we're good to go. Yeah, good, good deal all the way around. Okay, we just got word on the radio that one of our downtown units is behind a uh, stolen vehicle, just stolen about an hour ago. So we're gonna go up here and get in position just in case if they come here on 65th. So we're just gonna stop right here in the intersection and just wait on them and see what, which way they decide to go. Okay, here they come. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get on the freeway. up here and get in position so when they come by we can jump in behind the uh, the uh, lead vehicle okay the state's coming up let them get up there Go ahead and spray the pipe. 
Where's the flag go? I don't know. Somebody go around. Come on, young man. Come on out, man. Y'all gonna go that way? Yeah. Just come on. Come on, man. Stand up. Oh, okay. Come on. I'm over here. I'm over here. Deep. There's a deep out here. Come on out now. Now. Come on, young man. Come on out, man. Hey, did Lincoln 18 say they got him in custody? Oh, you are? I don't know. Good job. Walk on out there, man. Come on, walk on out. Come on, man. Come on, man. Who's that, sir? Back up, sir. We got Go ahead, man. Go ahead, man. Oh, hold up, hold up. Uh, come, come, come. Sit the way these fans. Yeah, left foot tired. Go ahead, don't follow me. Let's try to stretch him up, man. Let's try to stretch him up, man. Let's go, guys. Keep on moving. Let's go, man. 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 let Oh, oh! You could have killed yourself or somebody else. You know that. What's up? Why'd you do it? Huh? What'd you do, it, man? Oh, hi. What? Hi. You're what? Hi. You're high. Yes, sir. What are you high on, buddy? Cocaine. Cocaine? Okay. Let's get him on that side. Hey, appreciate y'all. Let's go ahead and get him on this side. Southwest is not involved. Get him out. It's unlocked. Okay. Trying to get a bad person. Okay, careful getting in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, go ahead. Where'd you get the car at? Where'd you get the car at? It's a part the car. Where? It's a part in the car. Your partner's car? Yeah. Where'd you get it at? What's mean why they did that? Well, I mean, where's your partner live at? On Johnson Street. On Johnson Street? Yeah. You say you've been doing some narcotics tonight? Yeah. When's the last time, did you smoke some? When did you smoke? Do you know when? Just about five minutes before. Five minutes before you took off on the chase? Yes. Did you know what you were doing out there? You didn't have a clue, did you? Do you think you were going to get away? I don't know. You don't know? Where were you trying to go? Huh? Where, do you, where were you trying to go? Well, I really was just riding around. going to make a couple blocks. I'm going back to pick my partner back up. Yeah, but when the police got behind you, where were you going to go then? I don't know. You're just going to keep driving, huh? Yeah. All right, man. When we were chasing this vehicle, came off the came off the freeway on the entrance ramp. In other words, he slammed on his brakes, turned, made a U-turn, came across here, came across this field, and this is uh, this is where it landed. Now you can see the tracks where he came off of the freeway wrong way cut across the field and you can see where he came to a sudden stop right here of course they blew the tire wasn't able to go any further so he, he jumped out of the vehicle well i'm glad we got him he's he's got no bond warrants and he's big time he's one and all the burglaries of, yeah big time criminal so we're we're lucky we got him yeah okay we looked cool. for him all night and the jeep was stolen like an hour ago and we got it back cool yeah. Uh, that's why we want it to end, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you know, you, you know, you're being charged with the theft by receiving on the vehicle, right? And, and any other traffic violations that we've got, especially the big whoopsie you did right there on the uh, freeway, slammed on your brakes and cut around and tore up their yard. It's probably criminal mischief charges going to be levied against you too. So you've got a lot of stuff going against you, man. So it's going to be a bad night for you, but at least you're getting it over with, right? Yes, sir. Okay, man. Uh, I come to work every day, have you know, a good time. We we be safe in our job, and we go out and catch criminals. It's always a challenge, and part of the game. I see it as a game. Go out and catch a criminal. They're they're trying to hide. We're trying to find them, kind of like hide and seek. So uh, that's the fun part of the day. We try to keep uh, bad guys out of the picture. We're on our way to assist some officers. They've got some information on a subject who's wanted for some felony warrants. Supposed to be at a girlfriend's house.
whose house? Who's, what's her name? I'm here. What's her name? Come outside door. It would fall in. Hello, how are you? What's your name? Yvette. Yvette. Uh, we're asleep. You're asleep. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm looking for someone. Is Javier here? No. Um, his brothers have been here looking for him. You mind if I look around? Yeah. My other baby's asleep. That's fine. Yeah, he's gonna, she's gonna let us look. They come over here and ask me. If he's been around. Uh-huh. Because I guess he went, I'm the one that reported him. Yeah. Someone said he was over here right now. No. Um, I heard knocking on my door the other night. Uh-huh. But I don't know. Is this your house, ma'am? Yeah. How are you related to Javier? He's my ex-boyfriend. He abused me. Is so he... I called the cops on him. And he put a, um, my mom put a, a, You filed a protective order against him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you realize, I'm sorry, I'm half asleep right now. You realize that when you file a protective order against him and you still invite him over here, he can still be arrested, right? Yeah. Out from underneath there now. Come on. Let's go. Now. Get out. I want to see your hands. Right now. Come on out. Slowly. You got yourself in there, you have to get out. Slowly come out. Hands up, let's go. Here, get on bed, on bed. Hold on. Huh? You got cuffs you want? Nah, you hid, buddy. Get your other arm out. There you go. What you had? You got ID with you? Huh? Okay. Let me see your wrist. Got Aaron tattooed right here. What's your name, man? Huh? Here, roll over this way. Go ahead, Sonny. Hang on a second. We'll get all that straightened out. Yeah, we're tied up. All right, that's a tattoo she described. Come on, man. Javier, why are you laying under there, man? You got warrants? Is that why you're hiding? I guess that means no, you speak English? Mm -hmm. So you don't want to talk? We'll just go to jail then. Let's get up, man. You get to go where you are. Come on. Stand up. Stand up. Let me put some clothes on. Stand up. You got clothes on. Let's go. Let's get outside and we'll talk about that out there. Come on, let me put my clothes on. You got fine. You're fine. It's not. It's warm outside, man. Why you want to do me like that? Let me put some clothes on. Why'd you hide under the bed? Why'd you hide under the bed? Well, let's get out of here. Go, let's we'll go. Get, it's we'll kind of tight in here. Come on. Clothes issue when we get out of this room. Go. I don't want to deal with you. You're not going to give me my clothes if I want to walk out of this bed. My pants are up there. I got my ID up there, too. We'll have her get you some clothes. Which side you want them on? We have to get in the car over here, okay? Here, turn around and lean over to your car. Lean over. Well, don't hide next time, man. You gotta cut yourself up on hanging under the bed. <laughs> Sit down, man. Watch your head. You know, lying to us like that, you can go to jail. Okay? You wanna go to jail for a felony? Yes, sir. You're harboring a fugitive. You know he's wanted. Okay? Then you tell us he's not here. It's not smart. You want those kids to end up in foster care? Oh, no. So that's what's going to happen to him if you go to jail. Sorry. Okay? The next time, we might be truthful. Say, yeah, he's in here. Okay, or not let him come back. I know, I understand. I mean, I understand. I mean, I violated my probation. That's automatically. So you're on probation for ag assault? No, I'm not. Family I'm violence? Assault, just... Yeah. Uh, what are you on probation for? For that, for domestic violence. 
just regular misdemeanor probation, felony probation, so it's aggravated assault. All right, we are ready to go. We're going to go to jail today. Okay. Straight to the Gray Bar Motel. And we're going to go westbound. Yeah. Coming back this way. We got a pursuit going on with uh, units. Vehicle got him behind. I don't know what kind of crime they have. It's occupied by two people. Uh, we got cars up here. Try to get sticks out in front of them. They drive all over the place, back and forth, all, call, all over the city, back and forth. Traffic light. Traffic light 150. They'll be coming this way here in a minute. Yep. Sticks of five six, sticks of five six. Come back, come back. Trying to stick them back there. Yeah, uh, saw us sitting there. We got units, Tacoma, Paris County, Lakewood, University Place, Berkeley, all trying to get this guy stopped. He's uh, out of control. This is extremely dangerous for us and as well as the other people involved. Keeps going across back and forth, all the way across Tacoma, back and forth. You know, Pierce County. This stuff becomes real dangerous. Citizens just driving around their own business, and this cup's right, right in their path. We need to get this stopped. And we're going to go westbound. Come back this way. Come on, tell me where you're at. It's going to be coming to our left. comes. Go! Get out of the way! Get out of the way! Got it! Got him! He hit the sticks. He had sticks back there, so he should be starting to slow down a little bit. The tire should be getting inflated. Nope, oh, looks like he's going to be bailing. You have the right to remain silent. Anything say can will be using against the court of law. Right to send a soul to attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, we'll be appointed representative at no cost. Stop questioning your time for purpose. Consult the attorney. You understand your rights? Yes, I do. Have any rights of mine you want to talk to us tonight? Certainly. What's going on? Okay, we were up there in Spanaway. Yeah. Um, he had some dope he's going to turn me on to. Okay. He said that it was in his trunk. Uh, the next thing I know, a police officer is right behind me, or behind the two of us. Sure. I'm uh, in the car at this point in time, uh, and he takes off like a bat out of hell, and I can't get out of the car until just now, officer. 
Oh, really? So what was he saying when he was driving to, all over town? What was he saying? What was he saying? He yeah. was saying, which turns to make? I said, dude, I'm lost. Stop the car the whole time. You tell him to stop? What was he saying? Was he just kept saying which turns to make? Were you saying anything else or no, what? No, I was not. Okay. I was saying, let me out. What kind of dope is inside the car? Uh, I believe meth. Methamphetamine? Yeah, that's what he said he had. How much meth is in the car? I had no idea. He was just going to turn me on to some. And then the next thing I know, the security guard was behind us, um, and he takes off like a bat out of hell, and this is the first chance I had to get out. I've been okay. Well, that was a police the whole time that was behind you, so. Yes, I know that was. You know that was a police? And yeah, you're yelling I, I at from the stop? Did. Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. All righty. You got a car we can stick them into here? All right. Why were you running? Why were you running from me? I don't want to see you don't want to talk? I'm at Larry. All right, well, we got the ambulance coming. Just lay there for a minute. I got the passenger over here, and he, uh, told me he's the whole time he uh, when he saw you uh, driver jumps in the car and off they go and he's screaming right. at him the whole time to stop 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 right. what he's telling me is basically he has dope inside the trunk of his car and, he, and he's trying to sell him dope hook him up with some dope so that's what methamphetamine so that's part of the part of what was going to so um, that's what Patrick's saying. You, man. You, you invoked I'll, your I'll, rights. Sir, so, for, so that's what he's telling me. He's uh, yeah, being when, cooperative. When I, him. Him. Sir, I first came up on him, you know, the guy looked at me and he jumps in the car and took off. He got a felony warrant and he's got uh, felony looting. Okay. We're going to impound the car back to the precinct to get a search warrant. Okay. Find out what he was putting in the back when I approached him initially. And it smells like toluene, which is a sure sign of possibility of methamphetamine in the back. Methamphetamine lamp, probably right. rolling meth Could lab. Could be a rolling so. meth lab, well, that right. that fits the profile. I mean, you know, paranoia and him running and everything. It's a good reason to run. He's uh, So as we're chasing you, what's your partner saying? Uh, he's saying not much. He ain't saying a damn thing. I'm saying, dude, I'm telling him because I know the area. I said, there's windy turns. and uh, I said, if you don't slow down, you're going to kill us. Uh, <laughs> What about yeah. getting out of the car? Did you want to get out of the car? You want to yeah, out? yeah, he, and I just wanted you to know, he did about three times. He said, if you want out, jump, and uh, he, he slowed down. What did you think of that? I thought, <laughs> you. All right, you're free to leave. You be safe, stay out of trouble. These guys are um, doing this stuff, this methamphetamine, these drugs, and, and they put their lives and our lives and the citizens' lives at risk just for, you know, a 20 bag of dope, and uh, it's crazy. The other night we had a a Suburban that was stolen it had some front end damage to it, and this one kind of looks a little bit similar to it. We're gonna stop it right up here and see if it might be it or not. Adam 33 traffic. Adam 33. Uh, it looks like we're gonna probably stop right over here at uh, Markham Little Rock. Yeah, well, Markham 145. <laughs> Adam 33, it's 912. Give me another unit. Adam 21, start that way. Everybody in the car, hands on the roof right now. Everybody in the car, hands on the roof. Stay in there. Everybody just stay put. Everybody get your hands on the roof. Adam 496, I'm on the highway. 146. Who's the one who was sitting in the front seat? Where'd he go? Where's the driver at? Tell him to sit up. Uh, Who's driving it? Because ain't nobody bailed out the car. Get your hands on the roof! Come on, Tisha, get out. Uh, right there on the car. Uh, stay put, stay put, don't get out. Lay down on the, on the ground. ground Come on, uh, get on the ground. Get on the ground right now. Your turn, Red Hat, come on. Get on the ground, you don't understand? Randy, I don't know about the dude in the passenger seat. He's either passed out or something. Yeah, he... Passenger, come on! He Wake up, get out! You know me. Get on the ground. Get on the ground right now. Get your hands out in front of you. Yeah, one's 1063, that's
Start patting them down. That was you driving it, wasn't it? No. Uh -huh. Who was driving it? Where's dude at that was driving? Because listen to me. I know nobody bailed out that car. All right? Who's sitting on that side in the back? Uh, this one right here with the red shoes. Mango. Oh, yeah. And it's stolen, too. Yeah, there it is. Nice big old bag full of some crack cocaine on top of having a stolen car. Have we went through it real good yet, Sarge? No. Okay. No, I was just kind of making just, a Just a peak? Yeah, just a peak, that's all okay. I so on just a peak, we got this. Who's is this? Uh, you know, I don't know nothing about that. Huh? I don't know nothing about that. You know it. I don't. It ain't mine. Is it the car you're riding? I don't know. I who, mean, who was whatever driving? They, who was driving? When they came and got me, man, I to, was. Listen to me. Who was driving the car? Was he driving? Was John driving? Mm -hmm. Bobby driving? Mm -hmm. All right then. I don't know that. I ran who, into that. John, who was driving that car? Uh, who was driving this thing? Dude, 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 I got my Bobby yeah. was? That's what I thought. Yeah, man. I just trying to get a ride over this girl house, man. Okay. Little Rod. Let me try this. Like I'm going put it right here in your front pocket. All right, please, man. Damn, why ain't Chuck stolen, no? though? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that, was, hey, the listen, dude, that was underneath the seat oh, where you're sitting. Oh, at. no. That ain't mine. You used so, to push it harder than anything no, than anybody else, man. No, no, I didn't, man. I ain't, I ain't never sold no dope in my life, man. I ain't never had a drug charge in my life, man. You can check my records, John, man. Come on. Man, I ain't never sold no dope in my life, All right. man. All right. I ain't never had a drug charge All in right, my then. life, man. Curtis, what's going on tonight, man? You just passed out in the seat for the ride? Yeah, I've been asleep. All right. You don't know who that is? Hell no. Where you find it? It was under the back passenger seat where uh, John was sitting at. Might be there then. Ain't none of mine. Ain't none of yours, huh? Well, you know what happens whenever nobody claims it? I know what happens. Everybody gets it. But you know who I'm gonna stick it with? I'm gonna stick it with John because it's sitting right underneath where he's sitting at. I'm talking about it. Ain't none of mine. All right. Bobby, Bobby, how, how'd you come to have that thing? Huh? How'd you come to be driving that thing? Hey. L listen to me, listen to me, man. I done talked to two folks. Bobby, look at me. Bobby, Bobby, what? look at me. I've already talked to two people sitting in there that done told me you was driving it. Huh? Listen to me, you yeah. was driving that car, nah. okay? Then who, who was driving it? If you wasn't driving it, who was driving it, Bobby? I Dude that's passed out in the, in the passenger seat next to you? I wasn't driving it. You wasn't driving it? No. Nah. Then who was driving it? Casper the ghost? Yeah. Casper was driving it, huh? I ain't All know right, Tim. I ain't know. No. By the way, you're under arrest for theft by receiving times two. The tag on the back of that is reported stolen on a, is actually on a, supposed to be on another stolen vehicle out of Little, out of uh, Lone Oak County. And that Suburban stolen out of North Little Rock. So you got theft by receiving times two. I'm not driving this car, sir. Yeah, you were. No, yeah, I you wasn't. Were. Yeah, you were. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you man. were. Yeah, you were. No, I wasn't. Okay, well, you can tell it to the judge. And if you can, listen to me, if you can bring Casper the ghost to court with you, then he can testify that you weren't driving it. Me and Steve are both instructors in the police academy, which I find pretty good. Every day out here working, you kind of do the same thing over and over again, and eventually you start to get lackadaisical. And teaching a police academy helps keep us fresh, keeps us with officer safety in mind. We teach, you know, when we're teaching the academy students, we're telling them the different things that we should practice each and every day, and it kind of keeps them fresh in our mind um, for the things we don't do all the time, the things we don't encounter every day, something you might only come in contact with once every five or six months. All right, we just, we're, we're getting dispatched to uh, one of our area hotels where they're having trouble with a resident of the hotel. He's backed his pickup truck over a, uh, block wall and he's having a disagreement with the manager and now he's outside and a lot causing problems. It looks like the lady at the front desk wants to talk to us and then also the complainant, the person who struck the picnic table, called back also.
Hello. How's it going? All right. What's going on? His uncle, for two days now, has cussed me up and down like a dog. Owner knows this. They were due tomorrow, due to Saturday. I put on there not to renew their I'll land. I come from the Pepsi machine. They come squealing, speeding through the parking lot. I set my can down. I hit no, brakes, and I hear it squeal again. I look out there. We backed up over the little concrete slab into the brick wall down here at Picnic Road. I locked up, went out there. All I asked him to do was put the brick back. By golly, if he didn't cuss me up down again, I want him off this property. What room's he in? 121. All right. What's his name? What else? What's going on tonight, man? I have no idea. I have no idea why you're here. You called us saying that the telephone was stolen. You. And the front desk also called about having problems with you. I didn't ever call y'all. All right. Well, what happened to where the front desk would call us? Because yeah. they're up. About what? That I'm up. They're upset that you're upset. Yeah. Okay. The phone's been disconnected. Where's your over car at? 70 cents. My truck is right there. Over 70 cents? 70 cents. Well, they can't we get that? Off. Can't we get that taken care of then? Yeah, I thought we could. Hmm. What was the deal? Is it the deal he pulled in here and hit a couple things? That's what they're I, saying. That's a lie. You go check anything on my. Well, I think he's gonna check he's it right now. No, it ain't gonna happen. Do you have a valid license or are you under suspension? Under suspension? I'm a. I am. But you I are? didn't drive in here. Who did? My Chad. Where's Chad from? He's the one who owns the truck. You got any... Are you causing a disturbance around here or what? No, sir, never. It's not what they said up front, man. It's That's like a lie. Out there and wreak some havoc because... Let's uh... walk over and look at the truck. Let's make sure there's no damage. Wow. Did you hit something? No, he didn't hit nothing. He knows he... If he bumped into something, that's fine. You know, he, he didn't mean to. Where's, where's Chad at? Chad! Where's Chad staying? Chad. He's my nephew. He lives with me. He lives with you? Yeah. Where'd he go? I don't know. Probably away from y'all. Oh. Yeah, that's fresh damage. So what are we going to do to fix this? You going to pick up the bricks and put them back? Well, certainly, I would do that. All right. Broke. Take me about two seconds. Have at it. Where's Chad at? Inside? Was that Chad? He said. Yeah, we yeah were, that's we Chad. Were to talk right? Let's bring Chad out so we can get into this truck and find out what those pills are in the front seat. I think you got him upside down. I bet if you rotated that about 180 degrees. Yeah, I figure I'm not gonna do it though. You're not. Yeah. Yeah, you are. Yes, I will. I thought you were. <laughs> Damn. Good answer. Flip it. Flip it over. That's the bottom. There you go. Put that there. I flip this one over. Nope. Nope. Flip it. I think. I'm like a 35. I can break away. I'm not even trying to try no more. <laughs> Yeah. Don't be in jail. That's still not right. Put him, I want him right. Look, pick this brick up and set it over there. All right, I'm going to help you. I know how to do it. All right, now turn that one all the way around. There you go. Don't start getting smart. That one's got to gotta be flipped. It's got to be flipped. It's got to be flipped over. I wouldn't break it. Don't break it. There you go, man. Way to go. I can't believe you asked me to do that. Why? I am not an idiot. I just spoke with the manager, and she said that she doesn't have a problem with the nephew. He can stay, but she said this guy's been a troublemaker for two days. Yeah. So I Means it's so time for you to go. Can you say it's true? Where you go? Where you go? Where you go? Just okay. shut up and go in the room. You go get. You won't call Kev. Just get. To go. All right, the cab's here. Ma'am, um, we have a guy over here. He's, he's been drinking. He's a little drunk, but not too drunk. The hotel here just wants to get him out of here. Okay. If we can take him down to the Fireside Motel, I'm okay. sure he won't give you any problems. Right. If he does, call right away through your dispatch, have him call us, and we'll come and get him. We'll just take him to jail. All right. You're getting, you got to get into this All right, cab. dude, listen. Your cab's here. You got to get into the cab and go down to the other hotel. Hey. All right? Okay. Move on this side, man. You're just, 
You're seemingly be the lead officer. Can I talk to you? Here's the deal. Hop in, Russell. Here's the deal, and I want to make myself very clear. Understand? Okay. Very clear. Okay. If you're going right down the street, if I see you any more tonight, if I get called to the hotel, if I get called for you walking down the street, if I get called for you dialing 911, if I see you again tonight, you are going to jail, period. Avenue. Understand? Yes. Thank God this is over. Well, tonight's a full moon, and a lot of officers have a myth or some type of belief that they think criminal activity picks up. Uh, whether it holds to be true or not, I have uh, yet to see. But right now, I'm about to initiate a traffic stop for a uh, basically an equipment violation for no headlights or taillights. 1426 is running. Clear me assist. I'm give me a traffic stop at uh, Walnut Street. 1422, no one. Copy. How you doing, sir? Okay, officer. All right, I'm Officer Winslow with the Cincinnati Police Department. Yeah. You know I stopped you this this I evening. Didn't have my lights. On. There, there you go. I, I gave you a minute to turn them on, but you didn't turn them on for me. You have a driver's license with you, sir? Where are you coming from, from Kroger's? What are you doing over there? You work there or something, or? We were gonna, we were gonna get some food, but uh, they're closed. They're closed. Yeah. Who is who is this? I'm my friend. Oh, your friend? Yeah. Oh, okay. What's your name, sir? Lee. Lee. Okay. You have a driver's an, or an ID on you of any type? No, I just, he just picked me up from swimming. I'm still in my swimming trunks. Okay. Just do me a favor, both of you guys. You can just rest your hands on the steering wheel for me. Sure. How do you guys know each other? Just friends. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Hey, just sit tight. Contact. Sit tight for me. I'll be back with you guys in a couple minutes, all right? No Uh, basically, I pulled this car over for a uh, equipment violation, no tail lights. Uh, when I approached the vehicle initially, the uh, the uh, driver seemed all right, gave the a uh, valid driver's license, and uh, when I looked at the uh, passenger, he seemed kind of uh, nervous. Um, right now, I'm just running through to see if he's got any. He's running. Eastbound on 13th. Eastbound on 13th. Eastbound on 13th. <sighs> 1422, southbound on clay, southbound on clay. Male white, all black, black shorts, white hat. 1422, foot pursuit, southbound walnut, eastbound 13th, southbound clay. Stop running, stop running, I'm gonna you, stop running. Don't jump over the wall, stop. Do not move. Oh my God. We got him down. We got him down. Taser. Send a boss for tasing. What is your phone number? 1422. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Put them together like you're praying for me. Put them in together like you're praying. Twenty-two advising one in custody. Why'd you run? I had a couple beers. You had a couple beers. Come on, better. You holding? Holding what? Dope. Any no. kind of illegal drug paraphernalia? No. Contraband. Get him out and stop him. And twelve thirty-five. Officer, copy that. Okay, stop. What happened here? Now he's in custody. Uh, what I did was. I stopped the individual as soon as he jumped over this uh, this uh, concrete fence in Breezeway right here, and I tased him for uh, fleeing from a traffic stop. Told him to stop several times, but refused to do so. And basically, this is what happens when you run from the police. You all right, man? Man, I can't even move, dude. Yeah, I bet you can. That's what that taser feels like. You got me. All right, just calm down for me, all right? I'm giving you that respect, so you give me that respect, all right? Yep. Don't do flaring around on me, because you'll end up back on the ground again, all right? OK? Calm down. Sit still. Go Ain't this way. Ain't nobody moving, man. You, the problem is you ran. How do you know this guy? Do you even know him? Huh? This guy back in the car, do you know him? 
See? That's a firm. Let's just have them step out. You have anything illegal on you, sir? Gotcha. Hey, man, you right. What'd you Robert. run for, man? You got warrants or something? Yeah. What's uh, what's your what's your warrants for? It's right there on the screen. All right. Probation, Probation violation. What are you trying to do? Is he trying to get the hookup or something? You trying to get some dope? No, man. We really want the Kroger's, dude. We you guys really know him? Clothes. How do you know him? From here. He's from Anderson Township, dude. Okay. Well, he's looking for something down here. He shouldn't be. I'm not saying you are, but no, he, he is. Looking for me, well, I'm not like saying that. that. We're going to get some food, dude. All right. Cool. <laughs> I'm going to pull his partner out right now, and then uh, we'll take it from there. So go ahead and step out the car. I'm going to talk to you for a second. I need, first of all, I need you to be honest with me, all right? Mm -hmm. All right. I'll pull you over for a simple reason. So yes. mm -hmm. at this point right now, He's going to dictate whether you're going to go to jail or not for lying to the police, falsification, obstruction, uh -huh. whatever it may be, okay? Mm -hmm. Who is that guy to you? Who, who is he? Do you know I'm him? Acquaintance. Be honestly. I'm acquaintance. An acquaintance. What type of acquaintance? I just have met him a couple times. A couple times. Mm -hmm. So what were you guys getting ready to do? We were going to his house to make supper. We stopped at Kroger's to get some ingredients. Okay. We were closed. Okay. We were going I mean, don't be afraid to talk to me. I mean, I'm not, I'm afraid, not going to implicate that as anything suspicious, but from what you're telling me, it seemed like you didn't know this guy too well. You just let no, him get I in your don't. car for no reason. And, well, to go to his house. Go to his house? Yeah. Okay. And then anything, you guys just going to cook supper or something like that? He's going to cook spaghetti. You guys weren't down here looking for drugs or anything, were you? Heavens, no. Basically, what you're going to get cited for is the no headlights okay. or no tail lights, and uh, from there, you're probably going to get cut loose. All right? I well, thank you for being honest, and uh, uh -huh. let's go ahead and have a seat in my car real quick. We'll take him from there. What? Back sure. sure. there. So you got him on the ground? Yeah. Gave him, him a little extra, ground. just to keep him yeah. down? Gave him a little yeah. juice to keep him down, so. I got you. Search incident to arrest, nothing was found, but he said he ran because he had some open warrants. He's got so. a felony warrant? Is that what, oh, that's what it is. Yes, he does. <laughs> okay. All right. That makes a good reason good to job, run, Mikey. but we caught him. Myself and another, another officer are heading to. Uh, it's for domestic trouble. That's all we've gotten so far. So we are going to head over there and see what's going on. This is uh, primarily in downtown Covington. During the day, it's heavily uh, populated by the area of businesses. And here at night, it's mainly for the nightlife. So we get to deal with the individuals that take part in the bars and reception and, uh, with alcohol and drugs and stuff like that. What's going on? This guy up here, he's lying to his okay, wife. Back okay. up for me. Back up okay. for me. Listen, he's right. lying to sir, his... Sir, I just calm down, all right? Okay. You don't he's have lying to, yell at me. to his wife, okay? He came down to my house and stayed all night at my house, and me and him have sex, okay? Okay. And then he's sitting up there because his wife come down and asked me if I would tell the truth to her, okay? okay? And I told her the truth. Okay. And she said that he was going to confront me. He came by my house and he threatened me. Who's he? John up the street, the black guy. Okay. And I told him, I said, you know, man, get out of my face because I don't like what you're saying to me. Okay. He threatened to whip my ass, and you, you might as well say. When we pulled up, okay. okay. Calling you and he started calling me right. faggots and everything. This is my brother and my dad, okay? Okay. They, I called them for backup because I didn't know what was going down. Okay. And he harassed me. He's been bothering me. He's been lying to his girlfriend or wife or whatever he is to okay. her. And he said he didn't stay at my house. And, officer, he did stay at my house because he had sex okay. with me. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't be out here if it wasn't for him threatening me. Okay. I just called a friend of mine down here. Okay. You know, I mean, right. I don't like to fight, you know, like I'm always saying, I'm a lover, not a fighter. Right. <laughs> you see me on Madison before. I have, I have. So you stopped me before. My toes broke again in the same place, okay. by the way. <laughs> okay. But So he came down to confront Yeah, he you? came by my fence here. He was riding by, and he told me, he says, don't let me catch you out on the street, bitch, for lying on me. He says, I'm going to whoop you because you were in, uh, interrupted my marriage. Okay. So he's And upset. he came to my house. He came to my house ringing my doorbell and asking me for a place to stay, and I'm stupid old me, tuck him in and let him stay here. Okay. You know? And have sex with him. Okay. All right. Top story. Okay. If you don't mind, go ahead and stand yeah. outside. We'll be right back with you. Yeah, I'm right here. All right, John. What's going on tonight? I don't know what's the problem is. My wife, my wife called me at work and told me 
you know, that he said I was, I was him. Mm -hmm. And you know, and you know, and that, you know, I don't play that. You know right. what I'm saying? Like right. I never, I never, I never mess with a man. Okay. And I never will mess with a man. Okay. And you know, he started riding his mouth off, so I just came on up here. Okay. You know, but but, but you know, far messing with a man, I don't, I don't, I don't, okay. I don't, I don't, I don't with no man. All right. Females. So, so when were you down there talking with him? Were you staying down there? Or? No, I know. How, how, how did how did you get down there? Okay, now I was, I was, I was going to my father-in-law's house one night. Okay, and because me and my wife got into it, okay. and uh, and uh, he was sitting on the porch and drinking a forty, well, only stepping a forty, and and uh, he just stopped me and told me, you know. Drink you know, a beer with him, so you know I, I said I drunk a forty with him for like a, for like an hour, not even an hour, maybe an hour. Okay. And from there, you know, I went around my father-in-law's house and I slept there. But now he coming back telling my wife that that you know we slept together. Okay. And, 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 you know, and that you know, it, 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 it's on around like that. I okay. don't. All right. So you know that's that's what that's okay. what that's what started. All right. All and right. I appreciate you know if you go and tell him you know to keep you know my name out of his mouth. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, we'll you, check that. Okay, you, you didn't go down there and threaten him, did you? No, no, you know, no, that you no, were gonna no, no, I didn't do that. Whoop no, him or anything no, like that. Uh -huh. Okay, no. just hang tight. Okay. Do you mind? I know you already explained to my partner everything that went on, but mm -hmm. I kind of need to know myself. And mm -hmm. you know, I've gotten both parties' uh, story, and I just kind of need to get yours. Okay, so what? Okay, what's, what's going on start here? from the beginning. Okay. Randy comes out and he said, are you two broke up? I said, well, we're having problems. He didn't mm -hmm. come home last night, but, you mm -hmm. know. Talking about, uh, he, he kind of got kind of happy. Talking about, um, well, uh, are y'all getting back together? And I said, well, we're not really separated. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll probably work things out. Talking about, uh, well, where's he staying at? I said, I don't know. I guess he stayed at his sister's last night. All right. He said, well, I have something I need to tell you, and I don't want you to get mad at me. He okay. said, but about a week ago, when you and him had an argument, he told you he went to your dad's house and stayed. He mm -hmm. didn't. He spent the night here with me. Okay. Okay. Well, from the way he acted, a little while later, I go down, because I come back and I call him and confront him about it. He said, it's not true. He said, I'm getting off work right now. He said, I'm coming home to prove to you. I ain't, I don't sleep with no men. I'm not on that. Okay. So he gets off of work. As he's coming past, he sees Randy. He confronts him. Why you tell my wife that? Okay. You know? All right. It sounds like you and your husband probably have some things you need to work out yeah. and stuff like that. Okay. okay. All right. And again, that's probably not going to get resolved in one night either. No, okay. It's so. going to take some time. Okay. 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 I appreciate okay. cooperation. Okay, how are we going to resolve things tonight? I don't have you, nothing to say to him. Okay, well, that, that's your own business, and you can do that. You know, you know I mean, he's maybe setting up there, tempers. and he's, he knows that he's divorced, uh, that she don't want nothing to do with him because she come down here and told me that she ripped up his clothes and threw them out on the front porch. Okay. Why would he even go back up there? Okay. Why would she even have anything to do with him? Okay. It's a whole big game. Just listen to me, okay? Mm hmm Whatever they've got going on down there, and if there's anything that you guys have going on, you need to take care of that when cooler heads prevail. I called my parents because they was worried about me. All right. All right. And okay. it's a hate crime because right. they called me a All right, if you don't mind, just go ahead and go on inside and just uh, just try to steer clear of him, all right? And I'm gonna tell I'm gonna go down there and tell him the same thing, okay? Well, it'd be best for okay. not to shut back up in my property. Okay. All right, that's what I'll do. We're now en route to a uh, Domestic disturbance, it looks like it's going to be some type of family trouble or custody dispute uh, in the 3300 block. All that it says is that the uh, grandparents are fighting and having trouble with the parents of the children. Uh, so we're responding down there and we'll see what happens when we get there, what's going on. They're all at the other driveway. We'll just come up this back. Come up the back. Yeah, why not? Take her. No. Sir, come with me. What's going on? Come here. What's going on? Um, okay. I was arriving home. I lived down Let's in... Let's keep our voice down. You don't need to make it any worse than it is. Um, I live down in North College Hill. I okay. work over in Kentucky. On my way home from work tonight, I was pulling in the parking lot, and the Stephanie, this uh, stepmother of my ex-wife, 
was in my parking lot, told me they were trying to find me to get me to come up here, that my ex-wife was taking my kids. She met this guy on the internet, and they were going to Florida. They were stopping to get married right. on the way, and they were- All right, stop for a second. Which one's your ex-wife? Her with the baby. With okay. The baby. All right, go ahead. When I gave the kids back to her Sunday for visitation, I met this guy out in the parking lot of Northgate Cinemas. Okay. And she was like, hi, this is, you know, this is David and whatever. And um, I'm like, you know, nice to meet you, whatever. And it's just thinking it's another guy that she's dating or whatever. And then all this brought on to me today. I'm like, whoa, what's going on? You know? Okay, who has custody of the kids? We have joint custody. She has um, an apartment up in Ross and she has the bulk of the custody. She has the, you know, custodian or whatever you want to call it. She's the prime. Primary parent. Primary parent, right, exactly. Okay. Um, our divorce decree is in Kentucky. We've been divorced for um, a year and a half. Um, is she I saying she's just going out of town for the week? No, they're, she's got religion. They're going to get married. He's going to make her a righteous woman. I mean, he's sitting here, this man, who knows what his background where, where is. Where is he at? Is. I don't know where he's went to now. He's disappeared. Was he here? Yeah, he was here. He's driving that red car there. But um, now, um, no, he's right there. So anyway, she met him on the internet and they just met for the first time in person Friday. And she didn't even tell me she's taking these kids and going to Florida. And they're to It's not just me, for vacation. No, the kids told me over the weekend that they're getting a new daddy and I wasn't their dad anymore. And I'm like- Stay here a second, all right? Stay here. You just stay over here. Oh, I do, I'm just, like I said. She's known this person three days and she's leaving town with them tonight. We don't know this person. She's just up taking the children and moving to Florida. And well, I mean, ha do we know that to be fact or yes, that here say that? Is that what you're doing, ma'am? I'm sorry. Is that what you're doing? What am I doing? Are you taking the kids and moving? In order to take those kids across state line, now. I mean, that has to be something that has to be cleared with the courts. Mm -hmm. So I have to get it cleared with the courts? Yes, yeah, you to do, Florida. because actually, you have to understand this. You take the kids okay. to Florida, you could actually be charged okay. with a kidnapping. Okay, um, okay, that's fine. That's, that's fine. I can, I can do that. I, why are you in these states? Because I do not want my kids around him, um, because he does drugs, he smokes marijuana. Well, this isn't something that's going to happen yeah. overnight. Right, I understand that. Okay. I understand that, but... This man's been up here since Thursday from Florida. She's known him since Thursday. She's met him on the internet. So that's Jody. So, so what does I do that not have to want you to take my grandkids and go to Florida. I'm going to do what I have to okay, do. Okay, you do what you got to do. There's more stories right that happens about young women leaving with their children. Is there not? There is, but you have to understand. There's nothing we can do to keep her from not exactly. taking these kids. I know. Out of this area here. Right. Okay. We can advise her. Hey, it's not going to be a wise decision if you cross state lines with those kids without having something documented through the civil courts. Exactly. And she we understand that. We just. But you have really in custody. Up, you're you're going to take them with her. you now back to Ross. Yes, I am. Okay. Yes, I am. We can't stop her from doing that. I know that. I'm going to go talk to Daddy. We really called her up here to talk. She got upset because the okay. ex was here. Me. The okay. advice to your son is he needs to get on the ball too with his attorney. That's my son-in-law. Son-in-law. I'm sorry. She has the right to take the kids back to Ross, okay. but not the right to go to Florida. And she's been advised of that, that she needs to go through the court system if that's what she wants to do. Um, and you know, we've told her there's gonna be consequences if she decides to leave. But because of what happened and what's going on, we can't keep her from taking the kids back to Ross where they're supposed to be according to the divorce decree. A woman does not just take There's kids. nothing you can have. I know. Out. You're making it worse. There's nothing illegal about what she's doing. Um, I'd like to hug and kiss the boys goodbye. No, it's not your visitation. It's not your time. I want no, to say goodbye to the boys. Can I go to the car and you hey, keep her here visitation. for a minute? It is not your visitation. They're my kids. Listen, ma'am. How can you do that you to can them? Go, you can go tell them goodbye. Go ahead. He can tell them goodbye. Ma'am, I've already told him he can tell him goodbye. You're going to have to shoot me to keep me from kissing and hugging my kids. This was signed by a judge. I understand that. I don't think you're above that. But you know what, ma'am? What you got signed by the judge right now really ain't standing right now because both of you guys are not in compliance with it. And it's outdated. Well, I will get it updated. Good thought. Before you leave town, maybe, too, huh? They don't want to go to Florida. No, they don't even want to go. 
Some kids don't I want wonder to go. why. I wonder why. Because all Look of their family you have and done. friends that love them are here in Cincinnati. Chuck, don't eat. The reason why I divorced you is because of where you are. We can't make her stay here or leave the kids here. Hopefully she makes the right choice. That's what I talked to her about was, you know, that the kids are number one here, obviously. She needs to do it the right way and go through the court system. And I think it would benefit both of you to go back to court and get it taken oh, yeah. care of. Absolutely. We're going to take care of that tomorrow. All right. So hopefully everything works out for everybody. All right. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you.